running down into the first corner. This is a short apex turn. You see how quickly he passes through the apex of one and then hugs the curb on the exit of two. Again, some curb use on the exit of turn three as he then runs down into the big braking zone into four, the scene of many incidents and accidents in previous Grand Prix. Through the short acceleration at turn five, you're trying to use as much of the curb as possible not quite able to get flat through six as he then disappears down under the trees. A lot of camber change here, which pulls the car from within the driver's hands. Coming out into the back section of the track at turn eight, easy to take flat out in the dry, caution if it's a damp race weekend, heavy braking down into turn nine and 10. And again, very short apex corner. So it's important for the setup of the car to be very much on the front axle. You've got to have good turning through the long sequence along the side of the lake into turn 11 and 12, the high speed chicane. That's when a race car really comes alive. The drivers love that section. Big stop towards the end of lap into 13. Again, we have another tricky corner, not quite flat through 14, two corners to go. It's at this point, you have to make the decision as a driver, do I risk all or do I just go conservative? A little bit wide through the apex for Daniel Ricciardo will have cost him a bit of time in the second last turn. Some oversteer coming off the last corner, but across the line, it's a fantastic way to start the Grand Prix calendar. And he has a lot of home support from the Australian crowd.